Alright, so how's it going ladies and gentlemen, it's Range of Flood. Welcome everyone back to a brand new video here today, which is Soar Online Alkization or Soar Online Season 3, Episode 2. We're back on here. I'm a little late, but either way, let's jump right into the episode. All I could say for this season so far as an anime only, I'm just confused going into this story because Episode 2 was a bit of, we know where the story is going, but I need a lot more explanation if that makes sense. So we see that from the end of episode one of this season is that Kito, of course, got stabbed by the syringe by a member of Laughing Coffin. And in this episode, we get straight into the underworld. This is the place, of course, of season three taking place. We have Kito remembering everything. So this is another kind of confusing part about this season because going to scenario like into the system that Kito of course is kind of studying with Wrath is that when he goes into this world he doesn't remember anything of the outside world like Asuna, Sinon or the rest of the game he just has memories of this world of course with Egyo and Alice and everyone else but of course when he gets out of the game he doesn't remember anyone like in the game whatsoever like he doesn't remember Egyo or anything but he remembers Asuna you guys kind of get the point what I'm saying so in this episode it's a little bit different right here because in the underworld this is IRL Kito so he remembers kind of everything of the outside world he remembers what all happened between you know being at Egyo's bar talking with Asuna and Sinon about this whole system and everything like that so it's a different change in this world but the big difference that we see in this episode here today is that he doesn't remember Egyo at all like looking at his face like he has a little bit of memory right here which my personal guess is did, did he get his memory like erased by wrath like after like the syringe because my, my guess right here and this could totally be off right now after Kito got stabbed by the syringe by the member of Lapping Coffin wrath is helping them out but instead they kind of erase his memories or something like that or it could be the same thing as opposite this is this is just IRL Kito and he is in this world for the very first time and we get more explanation of this world and kind of what it is and especially with Egyo as well. So this kind of world that we see from Egyo is his colon. This colon is kind of like a symbol, like kind of your job throughout your whole entire life that is part of the underworld. And for Egyo, it's cutting down the demon tree that we see kind of an explanation that this big tree in the village is kind of been a statement for them for 300 hundred years. It's always been a kind of a generation generation person at the person trying to chop down this tree. If someone chops down this tree, it could be way easier for this village to grow food and could really help them out. So it's always been kind of a thing with Egyo that every morning and afternoon he has to cut this tree 2,000 times over and over and over again until eventually he dies and someone else comes in and keeps chopping down the trees. So it's kind of a weird thing with this character and kind of with the setting of Underworld and even Egyo as well doesn't remember Kito whatsoever like this is his first time kind of meeting him did like his memory get erased did this whole world get erased and no one really remembers each other because when they're talking and meeting each other for the first time we see that he's talking about Alice and even Kito like he knows that name a little bit and just like even in this episode we're like did Kito's memory get really erased because he remembers a little bit of Alice he thinks Egyo like the name sounds familiar so it's probably going to continue on with the story eventually Kito remembering everything out and even Kito trying to think if Yo is an NPC player trying to get out of this world at all and we see that in this episode that he's kind of just part of this world and Kito is by himself which I love this setting by the way of SAO that it reminds me of season one like lone wolf Kito and I love this so much because this is his chance to get out of the game by himself I love this lone wolf setting even though he's going to be again help from Egyo, you know, in the underworld. But at the exact same time, I love this pace and how he is because he's just by himself. We have no clue how he got into this world, how he's going to get out because he's been trying this whole entire time to log out or even try to get out. So the best chance for him is to get into a central city to maybe contact Wrath 
for him to get out of this world and back to reality. So that was kind of a little cool twist that we got in this episode. Last part I could say about this episode as well is that since everyone kind of has a job in this world as well, Kito finds his right job which is a swordsman, which is pretty cool as well. When I first saw this episode, I thought that he was going to mess up because when he was trying to cut down the, the demon tree in this, it's kind of like a reality a little bit, but also with this character from SCL that he kind of has to learn moves you know with his body and his game character at the exact same time to master the sword which of course it's Kito he's a badass he cuts down the tree to prove this bully Ron uh, you know even to Igyo as well that this is his calling and that he can make a big difference in the underworld but yeah that was the episode guys I'm still kind of confused I don't want to read the manga or anything like that I'm hoping that this isn't a series that you guys actually read the manga to kind of figure out the story but I could tell that it's kind of a little pace that eventually we're gonna start to know everything how Kito got back in this world how he's going to get out will they remember Alice or Igyo it's just I, I love it it's a complete mind twist or I could just be completely stupid about it but I'm happy for more Star Online guys I'm excited for this journey I, I cannot wait to see what happens throughout all this and I want to see in the reality as well is how is Asuna in the game going to help Kito get out? But with this episode here today, guys, I think I'm just going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I truly did like it. And I can't wait for more Star Online. You know, it's 50 plus episodes. And we're only on episode 2 right now. I can't wait for more. Also, we did get the opening and the ending throughout this. With the opening, like, opening by far my favorite out of the SAO series right now. I love it. The animation was great. Um, the music is just fine. Definitely one of my favorite uh, anime openings of all time in my personal opinion the ending a little bit calm still enjoyed it but yeah let me know uh, your thoughts down in the comments below guys thank you all so much for watching this review make sure of course to leave a like and subscribe to the channel that'd be greatly appreciated be the way guys, ladies and gentlemen we'll see you guys in the next sao alkization review much love everyone and have a good one